guys welcome back to shop my stash today i am going to be doing a picking out my makeup for valentine's day week this week is valentine's day and i have already started using the pinks and the reds but valentine's day is one of my favorite holidays and i love picking out makeup for this holiday especially because pink is one of my favorite colors so let's go ahead and pick out our makeup for the week i actually already have a lot of makeup already on the desk so for the things that we don't already have we will go ahead and come in and pick so you're gonna see some swatches on my hand that's because I've already like I said picked out a few things so one thing we do need to pick out together are uh, is highlight so I think it'd be kind of neat to pick out some pink highlight um, and I already know a couple of the ones that I want to go with um, and one of them is going to be the new Kylie Cosmetics Princess Please highlight because it is a baby pink and this is what we're going to go with for this week. Um, I'll open it up and show you here in just a bit. Um, but another one that we're going to use is Makeup Forever um, because I have not used these one in so long and two there is a pink shade in one of these that I can't for the life of me remember which one if it's one or two. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh. Okay, so I had to put the camera down so that I could open this one and the Kylie one. But this is number, now my bronzer is already broken, but this is, let's see. There's number one and there's number two. And I'm not sure which one this is. So anyways, it's the pink of the two, obviously. The other one is a gold. And that's what that one looks like. And then coming over to the Kylie Princess Please, this is what that one looks like. And so y'all know that I love the Kylie highlighters because they have such a strong sheen and this one is no different. So I think these would be just perfect for Valentine's Day and we are going to go ahead and go with these two. So that is that. Now let's move on. Blush, there's no need because I've got plenty over uh, on the desk, so we're good there. Uh, let's see what else. So for bronzer, we definitely need to pick out a bronzer. I've actually really picked out a couple of great ones from the drugstore, but I think today, because I've been using those so frequently, I think for today we're just going to go ahead and, and use Benefit Hula, just a tried and true classic. So let's use that one for this week. And uh, I think we're good there. As far as singles, I don't think we need any. I actually have moved a lot of my singles over to my desk. The top opens up and I have space in there because they just weren't getting used in here. So for now, I think we are good on uh, the singles. Like I said, I've got one single down there and uh, it'll do for this week. I think that is it. The rest is just kind of like miscellaneous. We've already got our palettes picked out or I already picked out my palettes. So let me move this over to the desk and I will show you what I've got going on over there. Okay, so here's what we've got going on for Valentine's Day that I had already picked out. So you're going to be able to tell that a lot of it is from the Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection. I have already started using it and I am going to continue using it on into this week, obviously because of Valentine's week. But in addition, I've picked out a couple other things. So let's go ahead and start off with the lip sets. I had ordered the Love set and the Forever set and I love them both. These are so flattering on my skin and they come with a lipstick a lip liner and a one of her new high gloss lip glosses that's a pink I'm not going to swatch the lip gloss because it really won't show up like anything on my skin 
skin tone. It's just going to look like clear glitter gloss. Uh, but I do want to show you these shades of lipstick. This one is the Nude. It also, again, comes with the lipstick, the lip liner, and the gloss. And so I will show you on my hand that I've got the Forever set all the way to the left there. Uh, the lipstick and the liner and then I've got the love set in the middle that's that pinky shade and then let's see so that's the lippies that I picked out for this week and that's what I'm going to be using and then I picked out the blush that I had ordered from her collection um, it's in the shade crush and I will show you what it looks like in the pan but for reference I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell there is a slight swatch that you can see right there. That is this blush, and what I find is that this blush doesn't swatch like much, but it goes on very, very nicely and on the skin. So I have light medium skin tone, and it shows up very, very nicely on my skin tone um, with just one layer. So it does come across very nicely on the face. I don't know why it seems to not swatch very well on the skin, but this is what it looks like. It is a very neutral kind of peachy neutral shade and that is what we're going to have for this week but in addition to that I'm going to be using the Jouer Bouquet d'Amour palette and this is the one I had ordered from Sephora look how pretty that is now I have not owned any Jouer blushes in the past I had never purchased their blush duos so this was just it made sense for me to purchase this because it was $42 and it does come with six different shades and I have been using these and loving them. Let me put it down so you don't get the shadow. But these are very, very pigmented and so like I said, I'm new to the Jouer blush formula but I have found that I like it very much and if I'm not careful and going with a heavy hand then it's a little too much. So because there's a lot of Valentine's shades in here, we're going to use this for this week. So. Next up, let's see what we've got going on. Okay, uh, for bronzer, we picked the Hoola, and then these, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I found these not at TJ Maxx, at Sephora. They are $10 now, and it's the blushes. I did not check the highlight, but the blushes and this bronzer. Now, online, they are sold out, but in store, while it does still show as $30, it rings up as $30 in store, all you have to do is let them know that it's on sale on the Sephora website, and they will match the price. So I was able to get two blushes and a bronzer for $30, which is what I would have paid for just one one of these and it's a cream to powder formula that I have been liking very much and obviously I never would have paid $30 for one of these but the fact that I was able to get it for 10 I am so glad that I was able to try it out let me put the camera down because I can't get this open So this is what it looks like inside. Now it does look very deep and again I'm a light medium skin tone so it can seem a little intimidating but I have found that with a light hand it actually looks very nice and it's that swatch there at the bottom. Um, and so again that's going in with kind of a heavy hand to swatch it for you guys but if I go in with a very light hand and kind of a stippling brush it ends up working out very nicely. So we're going to use that this week. Now for eyeshadows um, I've got several things going on here. So I'm going to use the Roses are Red uh, Glitter Eyeshadow by Kylie Cosmetics. That's what that looks like all the way on the right. Very, very pretty. I can open it up and show you what it looks like in its little tube. Hang on for me. I have not yet mastered, obviously, opening things with one hand. But it's a very baby pink with a lot of sparkle, so it is really pretty. Um, and I've been enjoying using that. I'm definitely going to put that to more use. I'm going to use the Ooh La La palette by ColourPop because this obviously has a ton of pink since it is pink themed. It reminds me of a Barbie doll and this is just perfect. Now I have not yet purchased the It's My Pleasure palette which would also be a perfect one for this week but this is what we're going to use from ColourPop and this is a really really good palette. Um, let's see, for um, reds, we're going to use the Huda Ruby Obsessions because this does have a lot of red options. And so you also have a like sultry, smoky type of shade for an evening out. And so we're going to use this palette. And then, of course, last but not least, this is the one I've been using every day lately. It's the one I'm wearing right now. And let's open this bad boy up. And I will 
show you what it looks like. Now, um, first off, the packaging is so pretty, and for a baby pink lover like me, this is everything. <laughs> the mattes perform so well in this palette, and the mattes are just the epitome, in my opinion, of Valentine's Day. It's that bottom row. The tops are like glittery shades. Now, I will say, if you've watched um, Nicole Concilio's video on this product, yes, she is correct that those glittery shades are a little bit thin. Um, they're not very, like, you have to go in with like quite a bit because they are thin, almost kind of like topper. However, I have found that the way I've been applying it like directly on top of my primer without smoothing out the primer has allowed it to grab on very nicely and it ends up looking very, very nice. So it's just one of those where if you like it enough and you want, you know, you really want it, you'll find a way to make it work and I found a make it found a way to make it work every single time. I really do like this palette so far. I'm not, it's not something I'm really disappointed with. Maybe it's because I had already seen her video and knew what to expect. But regardless, I love the packaging. I love the mattes and I am putting those sparklies to good use regardless. So let's go ahead and go into our concealer drawer. I have quite a bit of concealers these days, um, but this is the one I'm gonna use because I'm also gonna use this foundation this week. So the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear um, Concealer. I think I really like this. I'm just trying to test out something. I'm just trying to see like if it's, when I use it with my um, Huda powder, I find that it just ends up kind of looking kind of strange under my eyes. And so, um, I'm gonna try it with a few other powders this week to see if it's the same. As far as the coverage, it really is nice. Um, this is in the shade, I think it's Cashmere, um, and I found it to be a pretty good match, and I guessed my shade online. So that's kind of, I ordered it online through Ulta, which there was minimal, <laughs> there was minimal description as far as undertones and things. So I think that is gonna work. Um, for this week and then as far as our powder, I think we're gonna go ahead and go in with the milk um, the blur What is it called? Translucent light the what is it? Well, why am I find I always okay blur and set I always find that I it's like staring me in the face And I have the hardest time finding it when I'm filming. Okay, so let's use that for this week now Pulled out my foundation. This is the one we'll use. I am in the shade 420. I've told y'all that I love this foundation. I featured it in my January favorites and I am still loving it. So I think we're going to use this one for this week, especially again, since we're going to put the concealer to use along with it. So that's what we've got going on there. And then as far as our regular stuff, we'll come into here. Now I put all my face palettes in here because um, as y'all know, they were on top of my Ikea drawer set, but because I have to walk over there, not that it's a chore to walk over there, I'm just saying I don't reach for them as often because they're not within reach, and so I'm going to see if I get more use out of them here. So I am going to grab my normal, my Pro Filter Eye Primer, which it's already starting to look bare in a few spots. That tells me it's going to be time to buy a new one here in the next month or so. We'll grab mascara. We'll obviously grab liner because I'm going to do a whole lot of smoky stuff. Um, I think it'll be good to grab the NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Milk because this helps colors pop. And I highly recommend that pencil. It's, I've been using it for years and I love it. My Fenty um, Black Eyeliner and... Let's see, mm, we didn't pick glitter for this week, so I don't think I need to use the glitter glue. And I I think we're good for now. I think that's it here as far as brows. Let's go ahead and grab the, um, my, is this the, I think it's the, uh, gimme brow? Cabral, sorry. Now, yes, this is the one that came in the Desi Perkins collection. I ended up 
I wasn't going to pick it up and then I couldn't resist because of the rose gold packaging, but I was still within my return policy for the holiday set and that one was still new. I hadn't um, started diving into it yet, so I went ahead and returned that one and picked this one up with that money that I used for, obviously, the other one. So uh, I'm a sucker for packaging and y'all know that full well. So I think there we go. And I think that brings us to the end of this Shop My Stash. We'll do our normal rundown just so that we can make sure um, that we have everything. I feel like I'm blocking stuff that I'm going to miss here in a second. So, uh, okay, let's see. We have got, oh, we need primer, obviously. So I have been using this primer pretty much non-stop. It's the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Serum and Primer, and I cannot even tell you how pretty and glowy and healthy this makes my skin look, almost to the point where I don't even want to set foundation on top of it. The only thing I'm not crazy about, I wish it had a different, um, how can I put it, the top just has a little hole in the, I'm trying to open it while I can, hold on. So the little top is a, a bit annoying because if you try to shake it out in your hands, it is obviously very runny and so it kind of gets all over. And then I do kind of like the way people have been doing with the Farsali drops, just going directly onto my face. Um, but it's just a little awkward because of the way this is situated. So I kind of wish it had a little bit of a different, um, not applicator, but whatever it's called. However, that's not a game changer for me. This thing is really good. It's not cheap. It was $18, but I guess if you compare it to a primer from, you know, Sephora or Ulta for high end, then it does make it a better deal. So this is what I'm going to end up using for my primer. So let's bring it over here. Um... Okay, so I think we are good. So we've got primer, we've got foundation, we've got concealer, and then we've got powder, brows, liner, um, eye primer, mascara. I know sometimes y'all will point out if I don't if I don't use if I don't reach for the mascara. I've got plenty of eyeshadow, we've got lippies, we've got plenty of blush, we've got a couple of really pretty highlighters, we've got both a cream or cream to powder, and then powder uh, bronzer. So I think we are all set for Valentine's Day. Quite a bit of pink and red going on here, and I am all for it. I will probably take this into the rest of February only because I would hate for it to end after this week. I just love Valentine's Day and then I love pink and red so much, especially together. But um, this is what we've got for this week. Thank y'all so much for helping me shop my stash. I hope you found this enjoyable and helpful. I hope it inspires you for picking out your makeup for this week as well. Your makeup for maybe your Valentine's Day date or dinner or whatever you're going to be doing. Just know that Jesus loves you and so do I. You don't have to... Um, receive validation in a person's love. Jesus loves you just so very much. All right, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Talk to you later. Bye.